Here we are. I finally got myself a faster grinding for Turkish coffee. And it's not only faster, it's like more effortless. So less effort is required for some reason. But as with any coffee grinder, it all starts with finding the right clicks. And I need to mention it right away. This grinder has a zero, but it's not like zero, zero like here. It's still burrs can't be locked. So the handle will rotate. And because of this movement, I don't know how big is the starting point. So I'm going to use uh, five as a starting point, but maybe it's possible to grind with zero. This is just so you know that I don't have the burrs locked on a zero and there is some movement of the burr. Maybe in your unit it will be different, but who knows. As for this grinder, I mostly use it with two clicks, but I started to use six clicks because it's easier. And many people complained that it can't be used with two clicks, only from like six clicks, because it takes a lot of time to grind. Let's start with the burrs. You can see I can't rotate this further. It's like zero and that's it. And this is because of the limitation of the shaft itself. So it's, it doesn't have a thread. But here You can see how far it can move. I really like the feature that I can just pour it like this. So let's start from setting. We unscrew this a little bit and set five. Yeah, let's start from five. That's what I have here. And let's compare the sound. Now, hope you can see something. This is our grind size from Kino with 0 0.5 and I'm pretty sure I can go lower. And here some particles and it's really hard to tell. Here I see clumps, here I don't sure. Let's see the finger. It's clean, relatively. Here. Relatively clean, but starts to have more small particles. And this is our number seven. This is what I brewed yesterday, and it seems like, like two clicks, at least for me. Let's try zero. I don't know what's happening. But this looks like powder to me. <laughs> you can see like zero is... Don't, don't use it. <laughs> it's too small. But if you want, it can do this. Like it's... You see for yourself. It can go like... Don't feel the particles anymore. So it's like full and it's hard to clean. So it's like straight clumps. Oh, so it can do this. But... You don't need this. Let's be realistic and grind using five, zero, five. Well, <laughs> the grind setting is low. One minute to grind eight grounds. Static is here, but not a problem. We have a brush. Point seven thirty seconds and eight grounds is ready. As you can see there is a huge difference in terms of speed. The coffee is espresso roast washed Rwanda and the first one is almost ready. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. But it took more time. I'm going to solve it. it looks nice. You see, white form appears. So as you can see, crema is controllable. You see the foam, small bubbles, very smooth. It looks like two clicks on Tomodante at least. This is the experience I have right now. And it's ready. Similar color to the previous one, this one is done. First one, which is 0.5 and 0.7. 7 minutes after brewing here. See it is here. Overall foam is very creamy, but there are some tiny particles. Maybe I should should have cleaned the grinder completely, like a catch cup, etc. Very creamy, delicate crema, which which people will enjoy in Jazzway. For Rwanda, it's very interesting. It's like smooth for washed coffee, smooth, relatively sweet, balanced without hard bitterness. So bitter notes is here, but they are like tiny. And uh, let's talk about the grinder itself for a, little, for a little bit because I need to cool down this cup. It has 47 millimeter burrs, but as you've seen, it's not a problem to grind. It's like previously I've reviewed uh, C40, C60 from Commandante. It was fast, but you need to like crank it and you can't hold it like this, like I did in a shot. You need to hold it like here because first of all one kilo, this is 700 somewhat grams. So it's lighter and narrower, which is very important. And the handle feels more balanced. And because there is no movement, like handle is very solid because it's like one piece. Because this grinder is created by dentist. So <laughs> you know their stuff, they're rigid and precise. So this is what we expect from this grinder. But this grinder received a new burst for Prover specifically. And usually people used it for everything, but mostly for press because of this adjustment system, because it allows stepless adjustments. You are not locked with clicks, so you can adjust with microns, micron adjustment. And I don't know what is one division means. Uh, I know that it's translation of the burr 10 microns, but in terms of grind size, it's like three microns, something, I, I don't sure. So, so possibly it starts not from zero and like some amount of microns and every division is like, could be three microns or, or something like this. And one rotation is 50, 150, looks like proper thing to do, but I don't sure. If you know how many microns per number and per division, let me know in the comments. And what makes this burr, uh, native burr, because it's not proper, better for Turkish coffee? Because in Southern Coffee Grinder, I have small particles and medium particles, like espresso, a little bit higher than espresso. Here, we also have a lot of small particles, which contributes to heavier cup, more diverse cup, more complex, more round, round and very pleasant. Clean, drinkable, easy, easy to drink. Some sweet notes in the aftertaste, something like caramel, but without too much sweetness. I don't feel here like this oily flavor, like oily layer of flavor. It's relatively clean. And let's check this one. It looks like it's ready to drink. Still nice coffee. For some reason, there is like some, some flavor, fruit flavor, which is not present here because it's like covered with other flavors. Here we preserved a little bit more. And that's uh, what is great about like six click on Commandante, it gives more clarity in a cup and preserves more delicate notes, 
which is fruit is. And we also don't have uh, too many acidity here, less like similar to this, no acidic, like perceivable acidity, which people will not enjoy. Yeah, maybe more drying a little bit in aftertaste, but for some reason, for this exact grinder, 0.5 is for this coffee superior, but both of them are great. A little bit more dryness in aftertaste here. Is it bad? I don't know. Maybe it's the coffee itself. And I will probably use this setting because it allows me to grind faster. 30 seconds and you have 8 grams. 1 minute and you have 16 grams, which is perfect for two people. And like 1 minute. Previously I need to grind for 330 with Sozin. Well, I decided to make another cup in order to check at position and setting 1. Because it's interesting to see will it affect the grind size uh, dramatically, the grinding speed and the taste. It is zero now, it's one full rotation, meaning one. Check the time. Eighteen seconds. Because I have the same coffee and it's easier to spot the difference when you brew it in a row and that way you will, will not forget what is the flavor. I like this grind size in terms of the time it takes to grind because under 20 seconds for 8 grams, 40 seconds, 16 grams, 24 grams, it's like if you grind 24 grams for 270 milliliters jasva it will be like under 130 which is incredibly great and it doesn't take that much of an effort and this this is true for light roast coffee as well. Now I'm using medium roast, which is lightly roasted medium roast. It's still Rwanda is pretty dense beans. So particles here, but at least I have a white foam, which starts to change the color already. And it started to rub. You see this crack. I'm going to take it a little bit further because the light spot is still light, but yeah, nice. Should be good. And by the way, this version has plastic cup, they have aluminium, but it fits great. And that way I will not scratch the tin of Jazwa. So, works nice. Even though it does not feel that reliable, because 23 grams for container, like, well, I did not expect it to be that light, but it's okay. And no threat, so it's nice that I can do this. And of course, you probably have a question now, is Barracuda C4 or C60 better than this one? I would say this one is better because there is not, not that much effort as with C60. It's like you grind it, yeah, it's a little bit faster, but trust me. <laughs> in the morning, I will, not, uh, I will not want this kind of workout. This one is fine. It's like in the, in the middle between C40 and C60, this is right what I wanted. C60 is like for filter, yes. For Jazwa. Yeah. Creme is still clean, foam layer. Some dryness uh, appear with this grind size, slightly more pronounced, but overall the cup is relatively the same. So there is now like, if you don't use, uh, if you don't brew it side by side and drink it side by side, you will not taste probably any difference. This is just me trying to separate the layers of taste, describe it, it's really hard. I will enjoy all of them. Even one rotation is usable for Jazva. Doesn't make sense for me at least to grind on 0. 0.5. Like, why? 0. 0.7 and 1. Like, this is what I will use in all of my videos. Even some clarity in this one. Like, dryness is not perceived anymore like, like in a previous cup. 
but the clarity of taste of flavor is like interesting. I definitely need more experience with light roast coffee with the grinder, but for medium roast, no brainer, one number. <laughs> it works. It just gives you a relatively clean cup, but the body is here, still here. Not not super body like you can achieve in Sozen, but it's enough. And you can brew it longer to have more body. But if you want me to compare it with Commandante, let me know. I still haven't sold it. Probably will not, but if you want, let me know. Hope you've learned something. And uh, in the next video, I probably will do espresso with basic machine the long Dedica in order to see is it possible to adjust precisely to have not not playing with the dose. I'm going to use 18 grams constantly. And after this, I'm going to probably make a pour over and then the review, the review of the grinder. So there will be more information about it and see ya.